All right, guys, today we have a video on my Droid Bionic, and I'm going to show you guys how to install a new ROM here in SafeStrap. Um, and this is going to be a ROM that is for the Bionic if you're on Jelly Bean. So let me just show you some prerequisites really quick. So we're going to go into settings here and go to about phone and just show you that we are on 4.2.1 or .2 I'm sorry Jelly Bean it's your Android version right there and that your system version is 98.72.22.xt875 dot Verizon EN dot US right there so that's the system you're going to be want to be on the other prerequisites are you're going to want to have root access on your device uh, whether that's with an app like, see if I can find it here, Super User or Super Sue, either one is fine. And you obviously want to have SafeStrap 3.11 installed. That is the latest at this time, anyway. Um, so you're going to want to have that installed right there. And lastly, you're going to, well, two last things actually. Lastly, you're going to want to have the ROM, which I'm going to show you here is called Blurry Jelly Bean. So right here it is, this is the file in my file explorer on my phone, Blurry Jelly Bean, and it is 2.4.zip. That's the file right there that we're going to be installing. It includes the Google applications because it's based on stock. So you will not have to flash the G apps like right here. Um, so we're just, just make sure you know where that is on your SD card because you're going to need to find it once you get into SafeStrap. And then the last thing is, is you want to make sure you have a good battery life before you start this process. I have 90%, that's probably plenty. Um, anything probably over 80 is, is very good. You always want to have good battery life before you do any hacking on your device. In case something goes wrong, you don't want to hurt anything. So from here, we're going to go ahead and power off the device. We've gone through all our prerequisites. And we're going to shut down and we're going to reboot into SafeStrap 3.11. SafeStrap 3.11, just so you guys know, is based on um, Twerp Recovery, which is Team Win Recovery Project. Let's go ahead and power back up. Um, Team Win Recovery Project. And SafeStrap is actually made by a guy named Hashcode, who's an insanely awesome developer. And he's created this so we can get into a great recovery system. So we're going to go ahead and hit the menu button down here on the bottom like I just did. Phone vibrates when you do that, or should. And you should boot up into, like I said, SafeStrap, which is based on Twerp. So we booted up. Right now we're on stock ROM slot. You want to install a ROM. So first thing you're going to do... Um, is go ahead and go to boot options and we're going to click on slot 1 and we're going to create a ROM slot. Um, you have to pick either 1 to 3 gigs for your data partition. This is the size of the area that you're going to store apps in. So if you don't have a ton of apps, 1 gig is normally fine. If you have lots of game apps and game apps specifically, you're probably going to want more than that. I'm just going to go 1 gig for this example and we're going to create this ROM slot. This process is going to take you possibly uh, up to 10 minutes. Um, if you already have a ROM slot created, obviously you can skip this um, step. But uh, when it's finished, we'll get back to it. All right. While this is finishing up creating, guys, let me just kind of give you guys some of the features of this ROM. Um, so this is a ROM that looks like it's created by IDeed. I think that's the guy's name. Um, and he's part of uh, Team Blurred Effects Team Presents. So um, his Blurred Effects team is what he's uh, on right here. This is his developer team. And this thing's got all kinds of goodies, like init D support and all those kind of goodies. Um, I'll go over some more of those in a second here. But since this finished, we're going to go ahead and go to ROM slot. And then we're going to nickname it. And we're going to go back. And we're going to name this Blur... Blurred. Just so I know what it's called and hit go. All right, and then we're going to hit act. Well, let's see here, slides off. So we're going to hit activate, and now we're in green on there, and it's called blurred. So we can back out. And first thing you want to do is go ahead and go to wipes, and just wipe your top four here. Shouldn't take a second. Delvic, back, vector reset, back, system and back. Okay, so we have a clean slate now. We're going to go ahead and go to installs and we need to go up a level. I got to go to my external SD card which should be down here. 
Jelly Bean Rhymes, that's where mine's at, and Blurry, that's the top one. Make sure it's listed, and it is, and go ahead and swipe across, and it'll flash this. So while this is flashing, again, it's probably going to take up to five minutes to flash this, maybe even longer. Um, like I'm going to go over some of these things. So we have extended power menu, we have 1% batteries. This thing does have um, tether hack already in it. So if you want a Wi-Fi tether or a hotspot tether, you should be good to do that. Um, some bunch of theming in it. It does look like he installed some blurry zips that allow you to overclock your CPU by flashing some features in there, which I may go over here once we get this thing booted up. Supercharged service jar, um, just things to make this thing run real smooth. It does have some extra governors and schedulers loaded in here. Um, it does have NED support um, on boot, so you can run your scripts if you want, that kind of stuff. Um, and a bunch of theming, things like that. Looks like it does have uh, beats with modified DSP manager for audio um, so different real cool stuff like that so let's go ahead and let this finish okay so we just wrapped up um, all you should have to do from here is go ahead and reboot system um, and sometimes I got hit that twice for some reason uh, so we're gonna reboot system here and then we're gonna watch a boot animation just cuz I always like seeing what developers put in for their boot animations there's your Motorola logo um, Let's see what we got for boot animation and we will let this thing boot up. I'll go through some setup and show it to you. So safe strap is in green before it was in red, but we're on a ROM slot, so we're in green. That's normal. You can touch the skip button down there or not, and it'll just boot up. It doesn't matter. But safe strap always boots or loads up on boot. That's the beauty of it. If anything goes wrong, you can always recover because safe strap will load. That's the beauty of safe strap. So let's see what we got here. <laughs> okay. I'm 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 digging it. It's like a startup deal with Motorola. Checking things. That's that's pretty cool. I, I like it. I really like that. That's pretty sweet. And then you got this little uh B for blurred, I guess, or team blurred. Blurry effects team. And then a little loading logo. So let's let this load. We'll come back to it. All right, guys. I um, I just skipped through the initial setup on here for you, so you wouldn't have to really pay attention to all that. Um, setting up your Gmail account and all that kind of good stuff. Um, so let's just kind of go through this thing. Um, looks pretty stock right here, except for obviously you do have some theming right there, which is pretty cool on your YouTube application. Let's go ahead and look in your app drawer and see what we, this thing comes with. So we have the AC, D, mod, uh, sound mod, you have add away, which is really nice. Animation manager, that looks pretty cool. Um, change window animation, change keyboard animation, so there's some animation stuff you can obviously change right there. That's pretty sweet, haven't seen that before. Um, uh, cache clean, that's different, haven't seen that before either. App settings, um, let's see what we got in this one. Oh yeah, so some individual settings per app it looks like. So there's definitely some interesting features there to look through. Uh, let's see what else we got. We have Adobe Mobile, Awesome Beats right here. Alright, so this is that like DSP manager with that Beats in it. That's pretty sweet. Um, nice little stuff there. Let's see what else we got. We got Dropbox built into this already, which is cool. I always use it anyway, so that's pretty nice. Um, keyboard backlight button see what else we got. We got Pandora right there. Root Dim. Not sure what that is. Obviously Super User. Tweak, tweaker. Tweakers. I can say that right. Not sure what that is either. Um, IO File Manager. Um, Root Dim. I'm not sure what this is. This looks interesting though. I want to check it. And it's asking for Super User Rights. So I'm going to say Allow. There we go. Warning, root dim, blah, 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 blah. Say allow. Oh, sorry. Every time. Remember choice forever. Stop asking me. Alright. Not now. Um, so, I don't know. This looks like, it looks like it's custom set up for dimming your screen. Is what it looks like to me. Yeah, that's what it is. Um... But I'm not sure exactly how it works. Probably something where you can set different customizations for different times of day and things like that. Would be my guess. 
uh, but obviously it does require root access to do that to use that um, exposed installer right there and YouTube right here so those are in there exposed yeah framework modules and sweet alright cool Uninstall. yeah so there's some goodies here this definitely has a bunch of little uh, customization in it um, like I said it might be glitchy on first you're probably gonna need to let this thing kinda sit and then reboot and it probably will take all well ooh now that's pretty sweet looking I like all of my quick toggles up there those look really really cool um, the coloring and everything is really awesome let's go ahead and go into settings and see what we get in there so again stuck with that same kind of coloring and obviously everything is transparent which is pretty neat um, you obviously do have actually a lot of these apps in here also it looks like um, a battery uh, blur updates not sure what that blurry updates I think this is to update the ROM you can actually do it um, through here which is pretty sweet um, it'll sync up to their server probably and allow you to download the update uh, so beats got all those things in there sound battery standard setup about let's just go check it out really quick so Android version 4.1.2 and so on so pretty pretty cool um, let's go back to our notification really quick though and let's see so that does just does just clear all those notifications out okay wasn't sure if they had another screen on here or not I think that's on Android 4.2 um, so pretty cool you do have a battery percentage up there and I wonder what if you have any different wallpapers on this let's go and see what they have in here so just your standard bionic wallpapers it looks like but this one does come on the ROM when you install it so overall pretty cool um, definitely liking some bunch of the apps they included, included in it uh, do like that for sure wallpaper is really nice um, now just let me show you this really quick lastly it does have a better reboot menu and the way that this works is if you just touch the power button it powers it off if you hold the power off button it goes into say strap if you hit reboot it just reboots if you hold reboot it hot reboots so then in recovery if you hit recovery it goes to stock recovery not safe strap but stock recovery and if you um, hold recovery it boots into fast boot mode just so you guys understand the boot menu it's a little bit complicated I'm gonna give you guys links to all this anyway in the video description and the form where you can get all this stuff so it'll all be there for you um, so there you go guys that is my full review for the droid bionic um, running jelly bean and running this ROM which is um, blurry so pretty sweet like I said and you'll get links to everything hey if you guys like this please give me a thumbs up check me out right here at rootjunkie.com always got great things changing there Follow me on Facebook or Twitter right over here, and we'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.